Yes, Jennifer believes so, and she has good reason to, because they just changed the 30th century from being a horrible place where they were going to become extinct to a place that they thrive. And they did that by providing a corrective means to the Sindos DNA. And uh, so they believe they can make changes. So they have to go and study and, and find out. And uh, finally, um, they, they feel they don't have the technology to do it in a reasonable per period of time. So Jennifer asks the 56th century people who are going to be exterminated. They have very long lifespans, over a thousand, well over a thousand years, 1500 years. And uh, they will uh, definitely have the most to lose and the most to gain by conducting the, uh, uh, by, by coming up with an answer. And Jennifer proposes a asteroid be sent at about a tenth the speed of light to first going back 5,000 years in time from the 56th century, back 5,000 years, and then uh, travel to and collide with the, um, the one of the neutron stars before it collides. That will change the angular momentum and which will change the direction of the beam that comes out when they collide, they form a black hole, and you get 180 degrees apart, two beams, tremendous energy in these beams, and even at uh, the distance of uh, 500 light years, it will destroy Earth, and of course it did destroy Earth, and they have to change that. And that is the main goal of book three, is to save humanity.